my people one that they say shall never end <laughs> yeah anyways the information reaching us right now is that there was a royal basket as a serious one uh, as mariam and uh, dr lizzie they said they were spotted doing exchange of royal slap and slapping slap and slapping they said mariam gave it to dr lizzie dr lizzie returned, uh, returned it back to mariam Madame gave it to Lizzie, and it was a hefty one indeed. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, okay, now please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, okay, and turn on the notification bell. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate you for always being part of this channel. Thank you so much. Then, information reaching us right now is that uh, uh, Mariam and uh, Dr. Elizabeth. They fought in the palace, as in they did a slap exchange in the palace over the fact that they say it is 30 days already, ever since the king uh, restricted Mariam, uh, Ronke, Ashley, and so many of them. I don't know if Toby is involved or not. They said the king restricted them from seeing him for that period of 30 days. The family members came and pleaded, yet the king insisted. So, they were just waiting for the 30 days, and they said the 30 days ended uh, today. <laughs> and these people, they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait for today to elapse before they would go and meet their husband. Of course, they have missed him so much. They say they have missed the talking that they do with him. They have missed the gisting. They have missed the bola. They have missed everything. And the, the funny part of it is this. They said it has been Dr. Elizabeth all this while. Ever since this 30 days, it has been only Dr. Elizabeth. The reason is because... Uh, Temi Tokwe travels a whole lot. Yes, she travels a whole lot. And uh, this uh, Toby have not been in the palace for quite a long time. Some people believe it's because there is this rumor that she is pregnant. You know, I don't know what her problem is, if it is about pregnancy or not. I don't know, but for the longest, uh, longest of time, she have not been seen in the palace from information reaching us, okay? Then, <laughs> it has just been Dr. Lizzie. And they said, only of if he love stay, spending time with Lizzie so much. I don't know, maybe because Lizzie Sabi do a be, she's just uh, that type of a person that you will always want to stay around her because she's a jovial person from what we heard and, and all of that. Before now, before the king married uh, Dr. Elizabeth, we have been hearing that Toby will always come out to brag, to tell the wives that, look, oh, I am the king's favorite, oh, the king always wanted me in his bed, oh, the king will call me today, the king will call me tomorrow, the king will, they, because this thing, we believe, we used to believe that it was turn by turn, but from what we heard, it is not turn by turn. They said, if the king spend the night with you today, if he likes, he can still spend the night with you tomorrow, spend the night till next tomorrow, even for one week, for one month. Just pray that you are uh, lucky to satisfy him and give him the way he wants it. He will always call you. That is just the, for uh, what we are hearing. Okay? Before now, he used to call Toby, Toby today, Toby tomorrow. But they, ever since he married Dr. Elizabeth, they said a lot of things have changed. You know? It has been Dr. Elizabeth. Dr. Elizabeth, Dr. Elizabeth started paving her way through during the time of sleep paralysis drama, you know. So right now they said uh, it is 30 days already and Marian went to see the king, you know. Then uh, she, it happened that she came at the wrong time because Dr. Lizzie was inside the king's chamber with the, with the king. And they said the king saw Marian coming. In as much as they said the king did not give the guards uh, the permission to allow these people in, but he saw Mariam coming from the camera inside and sent the guards to tell her to go back. Then Mariam, instead of her to go back, you know, they said she went, maybe she have an intel or she have, uh, she noticed or she found out that uh, Dr. Lizzie was with the king or is with the king so 
she went and stayed uh, along the place that you walk through before you, uh, you get to the king's chamber. They said she stayed there. And uh, when Dr. Elizabeth must have finished with the king, she was happy. The king had made her happy. She had made the king happy and all of that. You know, you know how that works now. <laughs> they said she was just happy coming out from the king's chamber. Only for her to be attacked by one <laughs> lioness like that. <laughs> they said the king, Mariam jumped on her, telling her that, Look, oh, how mean can you be? You have been with the king for the past 30 days. Even when she restricted us from going to see her, going to see him, you couldn't even intervene on our behalf. Yet, you were with him till these 30 days. Then, what are you going there to do today? Knowing that the 30 days ended, it should be yesterday or today, I don't know. That you are too mean. And they said, Dr. Elizabeth told Madam that, look, oh, I'm not going to stand here. Don't call me names. I'm not going to stand here and watch you call me names. And don't even try to call me names again. I am not the one that make that decision. This decision, the decision is, the, is of the king and not mine. They said, Mariam told Dr. Elizabeth, let me tell you, you are ingrate. You are ungrateful. I am going to call you any name that I deem fit. When I was planning for you to come inside, that pal inside this palace, I never knew that it is going to uh, turn around against me. They said, Dr. Elizabeth said, anyway, I'm, going to, I'm not going to stand here and be listening to your trash. They said the moment Dr. Elizabeth wanted to walk past uh, Mariam, Mariam drew her clothes from the back and landed a very hot slap on her face. Hey, 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 my people, they said Dr. Elizabeth couldn't even hold it. That she sent her own with more muzzle back to Marian's face. And Marian gave her another one. And she sent it back with extra force. They said that was when Marian raised an alarm, started shouting. And people started rushing to that direction. My people. And from there, they said the king uh, uh, saw what happened. And came out to you know, come and rescue the situation. And this, they said the moment Mariam saw the king coming, she started crying. <laughs> hey, my people, eh? the kind of royal drama that is going on here. Eh? Hi, God. So my people, they said she started crying. No, no be small cry, you. no be small cry. And the moment she was crying, the king told her that, look, oh, I am not here to look at your crocodile tears. Why would you attack my wife because of my decision? I am the one who said you should not come in and not Dr. Elizabeth. Why would you on earth attack Elizabeth over my decision? The thing is that you don't even respect yourself in this palace. But anyways, no matter what, very soon all of these stories is going to end. I just pray that it's about the separation, my people. They said Mariam started crying and started shedding tears. Anyway, guys, I want to remind you that they are all alleged information. Okay? Always bear that in mind. Please share this video and give my video a thumbs up. I love you guys. Bye.